Hello everyone, hope you all are keeping well. I'm Shades Lear and welcome to Esports in 5. In this show, we take a look at all the latest happenings from the world of esports in under 5 minutes. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with a roster change. BGIS 2021 champion Skylights Gaming has signed Wexy to its BGMI lineup. We wish him all the very best under the new banner. Known streamer Rakazone Gaming has joined Velocity Gaming as a content creator. Rakazone Gaming, who has over 460,000 subscribers on YouTube, was one of the first people to start streaming in the Indian gaming community. We wish him all the very best under the new banner. Indian game streaming platform Loco has raised $42 million in a new round of funding led by Silicon Valley based early stage venture fund Hashed, along with Makers Fund, Catamaran Ventures, and Korea Investment Partners. The fundraise round also saw participation from Crafton, Lumikai, and Hero Capital. Congratulations to our friends at Loco. Talking about Loco, we've also dropped the latest episode of Coffee with Kiran featuring Anirudh Pandita, the founder of Loco. Do check it out. Link is in the description below. Talking about funding, Gamergy has raised $1.1 million in a pre-series A round led by Unicorn India Ventures. The company plans to use the fresh funds to enhance tournament organization technology, build social features for the gamers, and to expand to MENA and Southeast Asia. We at Penta Esports are delighted to announce that we have joined hands with the Federation of Electronic Sports Associations of India or FEAI. With this new association, we will better serve the esports community of India with focus on the grassroots level, including college and university levels. Keep an eye out for announcements. After losses against Fancy United Esports and Griffin Esports, Global Esports is now out of the VCT APAC Challengers 2022 play-ins. Well played Global Esports, we know you will come back stronger. Now, Velocity Gaming is the only remaining South Asian team at the VCT APAC Challengers. The team will go up against Oblivion Force from the Hong Kong and Taiwan region, as well as South Built Esports from the Philippines. The group stage will kick off on the 16th of March. We wish Velocity Gaming all the very best. Make us proud, boys. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and the Sports Ministry will be taking a call on the participation of Indian athletes in two of the eight esports titles, PUBG Mobile Asian Games version and Arena of Valor Asian Games version at the upcoming Asiad in Hangzhou. Given the fact that both these games are banned in India, it will be interesting to see how the Ministry will deliberate on the matter. The PUBG Mobile version that will be played by the participants is not the original game though. According to the technical handbook of the Asian Games, Peacekeeper Elite, the rebranded Chinese version, will be the game that will be actually played. Activision in a blog post revealed that they are developing the mobile version of Call of Duty Warzone. However, they are still looking for a team for the development of the game. So, it is likely that the game won't be released anytime soon. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know in the comments. Dynamo Gaming is the fourth most searched topic on YouTube in India. Yes, you heard that right. We recently saw a list of top most searched topics on YouTube in India and currently Dynamo Gaming is at number 4 with over 6 lakh searches. Now that's huge. Congratulations Dynamo, here's to many more achievements. Activision made an announcement guys. Any guesses? Yes, I had a dream. I didn't eat footage and I didn't eat the news. And he's back. See, you need to understand that this is my show and my show, my rules. So could you get out? So where was I? Oh yes, Activision has announced the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship 2022 with a prize pool of 2 million US dollars. The tournament will kick off on 31st March. Solo play starts on 31st of March and will go on up to 24th April. Team play is scheduled from 12th May to 22nd May, followed by the regional qualifiers, which will start from 17 June and will go on till the 3rd of July. The regional playoffs are scheduled from 13th August to 28th August, followed by the grand finals, which is said to be an offline event. And we're done. Is there something that we missed out on? Do let us know in the comments below. As always, follow us on our social media handles and like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon as we have a lot of exciting things lined up. We're also on Loco now, so go ahead and follow us there as well. Join our Discord server and visit our platform for more updates. Links are in the description below. That's it from me this time. I'll see you all next week.